And we are back on Sportsman Radio. I'm your host, Chris Shanafel, and I am now joined by one of the newest members of the Chicago Bears, tight end Steve Maneri. Thanks for joining the show tonight, Steve. How's it going? Doing well. Thanks for having me on, Chris. My pleasure. I want to start this interview off by talking a bit about your college days. I see you attended Temple University, and I've actually had the honor of uh, interviewing some Temple guys such as Jason McKee, Evan Rodriguez, and Derek Dennis. Uh, how did you decide to, that you would attend Temple University? I uh, out of high school, I didn't have many offers. I only had a couple. I uh, only played one year of high school football, and uh, Temple was a, a good fit for me. It was close by. I was in Philadelphia. I had family there, and... Uh, that was a good decision. I'm happy I did it. Before you you committed to Temple, did you know that you would get a chance to be playing as a true freshman, or did you have to, you know, impress the coaches and outwork the other players in practice? Yeah, I mean, we were we were awful our first year, and a lot of freshmen played that should have been playing. And to be honest, I had no business on the field as a freshman. I was my coach would be the first to tell you that I was six six two twenty playing tight end blocking uh, guys like Gaines Adams. Oh man! And, uh, yeah, so it was it was a need we had a tight end. You know, a couple of guy went down, a starter went down, and I stepped in there. But uh, I could use that redshirt year. But you know what? It worked out for me. And overall, how was your college experience at Temple University? Awesome. I mean, the, the coaches there, Al Gold and his staff, they uh, they did a great job to turn the program around, and we were a big part of that. And uh, I look back at my days and. They were awesome. I, was a, I grew into a man and, and I learned so much and became uh, a better person for it. Steve, in the 2010 NFL draft, you went undrafted. Were you expecting to be drafted? Uh, not really. I mean, it was, uh, it was like a late round or nothing kind of thing. And going into it, I had high hopes to be drafted, but um, I kind of was accepted, accept, accepting of where. I had the choice because when it gets down to the seventh round, you're almost better off choosing where you go because once you're a free agent, you have teams call you. And I was pre recruited after the draft and I uh, had the option to go to a bunch of different places and I ended up with Houston. Yeah, you signed with the Houston Texans as an offensive tackle. But wait a minute, you, you played tight end in college and then go to the NFL as an offensive lineman. How does that work out? Well, when, after the draft, I had calls from multiple teams and a couple teams wanted me as tight end. And uh, the Texans called us, I want to make you a tackle. And if you know the statistics, for an undrafted guy to make a roster, it's pretty uh, pretty rare. So uh, I talked to my head coach, Al Golden, and I talked to him about it, talked to my family about it, and the Texans wanted me to play tackle. I decided to do it. Decided to turn over a new leaf and see what I could do there. If I wasn't getting drafted as a tight end, uh, maybe a tackle would work out for me. And uh, I had a good experience there. And what was it to uh, sign? Like, what was it like to sign that first NFL contract with the Texans? You know what? It's in the, it wasn't a, a huge deal. It was cool, but like eighty-five guys sign contracts and fifty-three make it. So I, I knew it was an uphill battle to make a roster. So it just let me know that there's a lot more work ahead, and I had to do everything I can. And the first year, I mean, I signed to the Texans at the end of April after the draft, and that. August, I came into camp at 290. From I was probably about 260 when I signed. So 30 pounds over the summer in a whole new position, a whole new offense. A lot of work. And on September 4th, 2010, you uh, were weighed by the Texans. The teams uh, during the team's final cuts. Steve, did you ever think that you would get another shot in the NFL after being waived that first time? Yes, I was um, actually set to be on their practice squad. The Texans they were going to keep me around. And uh, while I was sitting in the office ready to sign the papers. I got a call from my agent saying that I got cleaned. And I didn't know where I was going to clean. So I knew that, that means you get back up off the waiver wire. And I had no idea where I was going to go for about an hour. And then uh, I came in that it was the Patriots, and that was my next stop. Yeah, you would, you know, like you said, you would spend some time with the New England Patriots and just recently with the Kansas City Chiefs. And it, it wasn't until you joined the Chiefs when you changed back to being a tight end. Does that sound right? Yep. And why did you feel the need to change positions? My uh, choice it was actually last February. Uh, I got a call from the strength coach, and he said, hey, listen, uh, we're going over our roster, and we have a need at blocking tight end, and we realize we have one on the roster, so would you mind losing some weight and becoming our blocking tight end? And that jumped at the opportunity because, you know, to tell you the truth, I kind of missed it. That's what I played in college for four years, and I was still learning to play tackle, so I cut down the weight pretty quick and developed into what I was last year. 
And how, how would you say, you know, that last season with the Kansas City Chiefs, how, how would you say that helped you to being a player in the NFL? I mean, last year I, I played a lot, and uh, it was like being back to home and being tight end. Uh, it, was, uh, it was a lot more natural for me. And uh, I you know, got over 400 snaps last year, and we had a really good running game despite our lack of success during the season. We ran the ball really well, and that was a part of that. You guys are listening to Sportsman Radio. I'm your host, Chris Shanafel, talking with Chicago Bears tight end, Steve Maneri. Steve, just recently you signed a two-year deal with the Chicago Bears. Now, according to the sources out there, uh, you were getting looked at by a few teams. Why did you decide Chicago would be the best fit for you? Well, I spoke with the coaches, and I like what they were going to do, what they were doing here. And uh, Chicago's a great city, and 10-6 and six last year, and I uh, just had the opportunity to improve on that, and make the playoffs and win a Super Bowl. And as we know, there's a new regime here in Chicago with the Bears. This is Phil Emery's second year as general manager. We got a new uh, coaching staff. See, there's no doubt that we have an extremely talented, you know, extremely talented players on the roster. But how successful can you guys be, uh, you know, with all these new pieces coming in? And I know the season hasn't even started yet, so it might be tough for you to answer. But do you think you'll be able to answer that question? I think the sky's the limit for us. I mean, we have plenty of weapons in offense. You got a one of the best receivers in the league, one of the best running backs, quarterbacks. Uh, the defense has been consistently good for the past couple of years, and um, I'm excited. I'm excited what we can do here, and I think everybody is, and there's definitely a sense of urgency in uh, the workouts for these past, this past week. This is the first week back, and uh, a lot of guys are excited, and we're ready to get this ball rolling. We got a question on Twitter from Lance, and he asks, do you consider yourself being a blocking tight end, or will you shock some people with your catching ability? Uh, I do have a catching ability, but I, I was signed here to be a you know to back up Martellus and be a blocking tight end in some blank situations. But I definitely can catch the ball, and I've shown that before, and I'm looking forward to showing it again. The Bears have done some great work in free agency by signing you, left tackle Jermon Bushrod, linebackers DJ Williams and James Anderson, and of course, tight end, the black unicorn, Martellus Bennett. What were your thoughts? You know, what are your thoughts on the fellow tight end? Um, well, when I signed here, he was already signed. And uh, I watch a lot of film because when we watch film against people, I'm watching the tight end and how they attack the tight end. So I've seen a lot of his film, and he's, he's a great player. And he's a good guy to play with. Yeah, I could certainly tell you this. Uh, he's definitely an upgrade over Kellen Davis. <laughs> uh, Steve, workouts started on Tuesday. Uh, how, how would you say they're going? They're going well. I mean, uh, I had the familiarity of the, strength, the new strength coach because he was actually the strength coach of Kansas City last year. So uh, the workouts are familiar to me, and uh, they're going well. All right, and have you gotten a chance to roam around the city of Chicago? Yeah, one day I actually went down there by myself and just kind of checked out some places. I went to Portillo's and uh, oh. had one of those Chicago dogs because mm-hmm. I heard all the fuss about it on Twitter. And um, a couple other places just bounced around, checked out Michigan Ave. And it's a nice city. I mean, I'm, I grew up in North Jersey, which is close to New York City, so I'm familiar with the big cities. Now, you say you stopped at uh, Portillo's and you heard all the fuss about it on Twitter. How, how would you grade it? Yeah, it was just a hot dog. It was pretty good. I mean, I'm not a big junk food eater, so it was, it was good. <laughs> well, Steve, I really appreciate your time on the show tonight, man. Before I let you go, I just have a few quick, fun questions to get to know you a little bit more. Does that sound good? Sure. All right, Steve Maneri, what is your favorite TV show and movie? Well, my TV show is actually not on anymore, but it was on for us on HBO. But right now, I actually watch uh, Homeland on Showtime. It's a pretty good one. Favorite movie? I like the mob movies. I have to go to probably say Goodfellas. Alright, favorite thing to eat? Mm. If I don't say my mother's sauce, she'll kill me, so I gotta say that. I'm <laughs> Italian, Sundays, the bolognese at home, can't beat it. Alright, except for football, what is your favorite sport? Basketball. I mean, like I said before, I only played one year of college, high school football, and uh, I was a basketball player my whole life. My younger brother actually played Division One at uh, Lehigh. Oh. They beat Duke a couple of years ago, uh, and I just I follow basketball pretty closely. Now, are you an NBA fan, and if so, are you a Nets fan? I am a Nets fan, and yes, the Bulls. Your Bulls <laughs> just beat my Nets. But uh, I guess they can coexist. 
Now, you know, one question about the Nets, and how tough was it for you to watch the Nets move from New Jersey to Brooklyn? Well, the attendance and the, the, the draw for free agents to come to New Jersey was pretty awful, so I was actually excited about the move because it was a brand new, beautiful arena, and uh, it's a little longer to go to games to drive in, but uh, it's cool. I had no problem with it. All right, Steve, if you could meet any famous person, who would that be? <laughs> All right. I, I, I think there's nobody better than him, man. He's he lived a life. <laughs> You're on Twitter at Steve Maneri. Why do you make it important to connect with your fans? I think it's important. I think it's important to engage with your fans and let people know that you're not just a, a uniform and you're a person. And uh, I'm looking forward to anybody who wants to talk to me on there. I'll, I mean, I read all your tweets and I appreciate them. Well, as we know, if it wasn't for social media, you wouldn't be on the show right now, so I really appreciate it, Steve. And last but not least, what is something about Chicago Bears tight end Steve Maneri that people do not know? That's a tough one. Um, just a jersey guy. I don't know. I got nothing for you. How about, how about that you only played one year in high school? I thought that was pretty neat. Yeah, there you go. Well, Steve, I really appreciate your time on the show. It was great to have you on. And uh, before I let you go, is there anything you'd like to plug on the sh uh, show for myself and our listeners? Yep, uh, just looking forward to meeting fans out there. And that's about it. All right, sounds good. Hey, hopefully we can stay in touch and uh, would love to have you on the show again in the future. All right, thanks, brother. Appreciate it. All right, take care.